Good morning to each of you, and welcome to our streamed worship service on this long weekend. As we worship today, I remind you that you are each a gift and a true blessing. We worship and we share joys and concerns in our community of faith. We lift up prayers for ourselves, our family, our friends, our community, the province, and the world. We celebrate today with anyone who's having a birthday or anniversary or another type of celebration this week. And as a community, we gather together during all moments in our life and faith. And we ask for God's blessings in this time together so that we may have open hearts, open spirits, and open lives. As we gather to worship, we acknowledge that we live, work, play, and worship on lands that are the traditional homelands of indig indigenous people. May we seek to live with respect on the land and in peace and friendship with its peoples. As we gather to worship, we light this candle to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world, and that Jesus shares that light with so many. He did not keep the light to himself, and for generations upon generation, the light has been shared, and love continues. Jesus is still with us. So today, in love, we welcome the light, the light of the world. Our opening song this morning is, How Lovely Is Your Dwelling Place. For my soul longs and, and even faints for you. For here my heart is satisfied within your presence. I sing beneath the shadow. Oh, 
thousands elsewhere. Ten thousands elsewhere. Welcome to worship this morning. We each connect from our own homes, but we gather as one in the spirit, and in that spirit, we pray, we connect, we listen, we sing to pray and to rejoice. Come and let us worship. and the day calls to us. May we find you in our days. We gather virtually, and your spirit calls to us. May we find you in our midst. When we worship, we experience the world as you experience it, where your word and the world lead us today. Amen. Holy Sacred Spirit, Our scripture reading this morning again comes from the Psalms, and this week the 61st Psalm. Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I, for you are my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. Let me abide in your tent forever. Find refuge under the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Prolong the life of the king. May his years endure to all generations. May he be enthroned forever before God. Appoint steadfast love and faithfulness to watch over him. So I will always sing praise to your name as I pay my vows day after day. This is the psalm of our God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O God, our source of great strength. Amen. Coronavirus has brought a crisis to our province, our country, to the world, and to our lives. It's brought a disruption, destruction of routines and income. For some, it's even brought death. The last year has been filled with tragedy of a whole different sort. What perspective can God's Word give us for making sense of and making it through these days. Throughout this summer, we've been looking at many of the psalm readings, and as we have called it, God tunes. 
The Psalms explore this full range of human experience in very personal and practical terms. Psalms explore the inner life and struggle and help us to search for sense, connecting personal experience with God's cosmic plan. The Book of Songs, Israel's songbook, will help us tune our hearts as well. So today we heard Christopher read Psalm 61, and this psalm shows us how an individual can respond when confronted by difficulties in life. Psalm 61 tells us of David's experience. He's been a shepherd boy and became a king. He was a skilled musician, a writer of psalms, a warrior and a giant slayer, but twice he became a fugitive. Psalm 61 reflects this heart, reflects his heart during one of these vulnerable times. And this can often be our experience too. David was driven to the end of the earth and we'd call it social distancing. He was removed from family, from friends, from resources at a time of weakness. So what did he do? He prayed. And I'll bet that we have all prayed more in the past months than we typically have. And I know that our weekly prayer group has been saying lots of prayers over the last 16 months. The world says, look within for strength. If you can dream it, you can do it. But like David, we need more than mere human personal resources. Thankfully, God is our rock our refuge, our tower of strength, and this speaks to strength, stability, and safety. During COVID, we have all sought strength, stability, and safety too. Did we seek it in the advice of experts like Dr. Russell and Dr. Tam and the many other voices that we've heard daily over the last 16 to 18 months? In, in, and also with the hand washing and social distancing. The experts gave the best advice that they could possibly do, but they're only human. When the dangers are real, only a God-sized boulder of stability will do. And when our rock happens to be God, it adds this moral, relational dimension to the entire situation. God not only is our rock, But God is our home, and this speaks of warmth, hospitality, relationship with this lovely promise. The Hebrew verb to dwell means to sojourn as the weaker dependent being. And God is strong, and we sometimes can be weak. And COVID has driven this truth home to us like nothing else. Hospitality requires people. But COVID has cut us off for many months from people. We've each been in our own tents, our own houses, looking at a bunch of other isolated tents. We've longed to be able to grab coffee with a trusted friend to extend and receive the warmth of hospitality. But God has thrown open the flaps to this tent of God. And have you been going in regularly? God invites us to communicate with God, to be in fellowship? And have you been answering this invitation or have you stayed in the wilderness? God gets even more relational. God not only is our home, God is our hen. And wings, the image is of a hen, protecting her chicks. And they are the ultimate in warmth, care, and proximity. The Hebrew word, take refuge, emphasizes us going to God. During COVID, what's been our refuge? Binge watching Netflix? Eating a whole bag of potato chips and not even realizing it? Cleaning closets until there's no more closets to clean? Staying in pajamas long after we should have been up and productive? Knitting and making other crafts, baking anything and everything? Or maybe it's taken you for drives out to see what is in this beautiful province of ours. But none of these really deliver the comfort 
that they are promised. But God's care is perfect. The unbreakable strength of a granite boulder coupled with hospitality and a welcome of God's tent, capped off with this warmth of a mother hen. We heard in verse 5 and 8, they talk about vows. Vows point to this committed relationship. God fulfills God's vow to receive all who repent and believe, and have we followed through on our vows of relationship? God promises to be a stable boulder. Do we cling to God? God invites us into God's tent, and how often do we go in? David vowed and followed through on future relationship with God. God is the rock that is higher than us, God's big, solid, stable, powerful. God is our refuge. But more than that, God is warm and inviting. God invites us into the tent, and God invites us under God's wing. And David experienced this stability and hospitality and relational warmth with God during hard days. And we can too. Even now, as things are loosening up a little bit with the restrictions and so on, we need to remember that we are never alone. We live in God's world, and God is always with us. Amen. We take this time today to give thanks to God for life, for faith, for community. We ask for God's blessings on offering received by plate, by par, and e-transfer that is a blessing for many and a love offering for all. Lord, listen to your children pray. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children pray. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. Let us take a few moments today to quiet our hearts and minds for prayer. Let us pray. Loving God in this season of warmth and beauty, open our hearts to grow in your love. Help us to truly trust in your creative process in our lives. We look around and we see the beauty of your world, the flowers and plants, the oceans and rivers, the growth of children, the joy of celebrations, the reunions of families and friends and the sounds of laughter. We take time to remember people who need to feel your presence in their lives, for those who are ill, those who are wandering, those who are grieving, those who are lonely. And we also see the sadness and sorrow that has invaded the world when systems of injustice and hatred lay claim to people's lives. Prepare us, God, to become ambassadors of peace and hope. Help us to place our trust in you, so that when we are serving others, they may come to know your abiding love and your power. Give us courage and great joy as we serve you. We, open, we offer these prayers to you and prayers of hope from our hearts. Amen. Our closing song today is Like a Rock. Like a rock, like a rock, God is under our feet. Like the starry night sky, God is over our head. Like the sun on the horizon, God is ever before. Like the river runs to ocean, our home is in God evermore. Like a rock, like a rock, 
God is under our feet. Like the starry night sky, God is over our head. Like the sun on the horizon, God is ever before. Like the river runs through ocean, our home is in God. As we return to our day-to-day -day routines, may God's face shine upon you, may Jesus walk beside you, and may the Holy Spirit fill you this day and every day. Amen. Go now and serve the Lord. Go with God's blessing and love. In everything you do, the Lord takes care of you. Go now and serve the Lord. Go now and serve the Lord. Go seeking justice and peace. In everything you do, the Lord takes care of you. Go now and serve the Lord. In everything you do, the Lord takes care of you. Go now and 